Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu The Wolf Among Us. Ich habe wieder ein bisschen streng gecuttet letztes Mal, tut mir leid. Auf jeden Fall, wir sind gerade bei Beauty und Beast in der Wohnung. Und irgendjemand hat angerufen, der den beiden Schwierigkeit machen will. Wir steigen direkt hier wieder ein. Die schulden ihm also auch Geld. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand. Ja, ich verstehe das schon, aber trotzdem ist es krass. <lacht> no, probably not. So, where are you going? 
If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Uh, ich meine, die sind da mit drin verwickelt, alle irgendwie. Das ist heftig. Ich muss. Oh, na gut. Ist hier noch der Butcher Shop? Das haben wir bei Auntie Greenleaf gesehen. Und da ist der Jersey Devil beim Lucky Pawn. Ach Leute, ich weiß es nicht. Gehen wir zum Lucky Pawn zuerst oder können wir überhaupt zu beiden gehen? Nicht, dass ich das... Ja, letztes Mal bin ich ja auch zum Büro der Tweedles gegangen, aber dann nicht zum Apartment von Crane. Das hätte ich auch gerne noch gesehen. Das wäre dann vielleicht was für einen zweiten Spieldurchlauf, wenn ich wirklich den bösen Wolf spiele. Das sagt ihr ja immer wieder, aber ich weiß nicht. Ich möchte lieber meine Schiene beibehalten beim ersten Mal. Vielleicht haue ich dem Crooked Man später eins auf die Schnauze, wenn das möglich ist. Ich gehe zum Pawn, Leute. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the ja, package. Wie gesagt, das haben die you know that ja, butcher das haben die shop, the cut above. Auch gehabt, diese Kisten. The Lucky Pawn. Na komm, That's wir gehen zum Pawn. The money. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find Ach, out. Super, toll. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just Go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous. To all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Aha, ich glaube doch, dass die dachten, ich bringe ihn um. Wie hatten sich das sonst angehört? Das Problem aus dem Weg schaffen. Das hört sich nicht an, als könnte ich ihn einsperren und alles ist gut. Ich schätze, da hängt viel mehr hinter. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you. I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Because it's magic mule skin, that's why. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much. So forgive me if I don't expect mm, anything different now. Mm. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be. Since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. 
Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Ugh. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Ah, ich mag Toad. It's just tough, is all. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding. Ah, komm, ich mag Toad. Der tut mir leid. I'm. Oh shit. I thought I still had. Uh, do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've. Uh, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. Of no patience for ah, charity. Ich doch nur die beklaut. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. It really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came <laughs> down here? The das woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. Steel trap and all that. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit then. And what if I did the pay. <laughs> uh, Got it. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back, you know? What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, all right? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. <sighs> Wer ist überhaupt Jack? Ich meine, was 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 erfüllt er hier für eine Rolle? Der war immer so ein Lückenfüller bisher. Auch im Trip Trap. So I'm done. Amboss. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Hatte deinen eigenen Hufeisen stand da. Hm. Ein Dolch. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares really? Who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad, which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, mm. do you? You, and Grin, and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Ja, die haben's alle nicht so leicht. <laughs> das ist krass. Das ist richtig heftig, Leute. Lawrence war doch der Freund von Donkey Skin, oder? Also ihr Verlobter, den wir ganz am Anfang tot auffanden. Also fast tot in seiner Wohnung. Naja, es wird auf jeden Fall noch einiges geben, Leute. Ich bin schon sehr, sehr, sehr gespannt darauf. Es macht ja immer mehr Lust auf mehr, finde ich irgendwie. Und, äh, ja, ich bin wirklich, wirklich gespannt, was hierbei noch rauskommt und ob wir den Devil noch kennenlernen, den Jersey Devil, und wer im Endeffekt der Crooked Man ist. Oder beziehungsweise wie er aussieht. 
Das macht mir am meisten, also das gibt mir am meisten zu denken, weil kein Schwein weiß, wie der Typ überhaupt aussieht. Und ich habe, wie gesagt, eine Vermutung. Und ihr teilt sie vielleicht auch schon. So ein bestimmter Glatzkopf. Aber ich sag jetzt mal nichts mehr. Leute, lasst mir etwas Liebe da und wir sehen uns wieder bei The Wolf Among Us.